Welcome back to Vernon's Speakeasy, and today I'm going to be showing you a Vernon's classic. And that's going to be our truffled mac and cheese with ham. Now this is a very simple dish. We're going to have our cavatappi that's going to go for our macaroni, cream, and we're going to use gouda cheese, salt and pepper, diced ham, shallots, garlic, and truffle oil. And our sliced green onions are going to go ahead and go for garnish. And this dish is a staple here at Vernon's, super popular an amazing flavor. Not overwhelming on the truffle, just perfect. Now this is a very simple dish here that we make all day long at Vernon's, but we love it because it's delicious. And it's pretty easy. We're gonna go ahead and heat up our truffle oil. And you wanna make sure to get that oil coated around the entire pan just so that nothing sticks. It can be a pain when the ham will stick to the pan, especially during a big rush. And now we're gonna go ahead and throw in our ham. But be very careful, this likes to bite back. See? And then you're gonna throw in a little bit of salt and pepper just to give that ham a little bit of extra flavor. You just wanna cook that up for a bit, let that flavor seep into the oil. Some good truffle ham. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw in our shallots. We want to be careful because this is extremely hot, so those shallots will burn. You want to continue to mix it and then have your garlic ready. Once those onions are aromatic or lightly brown, you can go ahead and throw in your garlic. Get that all mixed together. And again, you don't want to really ever burn garlic. It's not a pleasant taste. Get that nice golden brown, smell that delicious Delicious, delicious scent. And then, throw in your cream. And at this point, we're gonna go ahead and throw in our mac. And we just made this cavatappi so it's fresh. We're gonna go ahead and salt it a little bit more. You can definitely let the cream thicken down, but I like to go ahead and throw a little bit of cheese. Go ahead and toss it around. All right, and it's gonna just get, ooh, it's gonna start getting creamy and thicker. Go ahead and mix that around so the cheese doesn't clump. And at this point, you can add just a tiny bit more cheese. And just look at that, it's already creamy, gooey, and good. We're gonna give it a little bit of taste just to see if it's salted enough. And just like that, it's done. And then to finish it off, we're gonna go ahead and top it with more Gouda. And then we're gonna go ahead and toast it. And if you're doing this at home, always be careful. Safety is number one, don't forget. But keep that heat moving. You don't want it to burn too much. And then to finish it off, we're gonna go ahead with our green onions. And, well, if you're here at the restaurant, this is what it would look like, so let's give it a taste. Get a little bit of ham in there. What can I say? As always, it's delicious, so full of flavor. It's no wonder it's so popular here. And thank you guys for watching. As always, leave a like and subscribe. Go leave a comment down. We love to hear what you guys have to say and recommend new dishes for us. We love making food for you. And don't forget to follow all our social medias and go down to the link in the description below to make a reservation and give this dish a try for yourself. Goodbye.